I'm Senator Jake Anderig. You know, last year I did a video about uh, the bill tracking service that you can set up through le.utah.gov, but uh, this year we actually have an update to the website to le.utah.gov, and so a lot of um, people who actually ut have utilized the bill tracking service have asked for an update, like how do we now set it up this year given that some things have changed. So I actually want to take you in and show you how to set up bill tracking uh, so that you can follow what we're doing up here in the legislature. There are actually three main ways, there's a fourth way, it's a little bit more complicated, but there are three main ways for you to track bills. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how that's done. So if you come to le.utah.gov, you see on this main page, you can either go to bills right up here on the main top banner and clicking on that it will show you your search options for bills or you can come over to these three lines here which is kind of your main menu you can click on there and that also can take you to a list of things including bills if you click on bills there you'll see that it basically takes you to the same place you can get into your tracking service here or you can get into your tracking service over here so go up to bills, click on bills, come down to tracking service and click in to the tracking service. Here you will see uh, the list of all the bills that you have selected. Right now I've got none found. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, let's go ahead and look for certain bills. You can look for them by code, which is what attorneys like to do. Um, but if you're like a typical person who's not an attorney, you might look for it by legislator or by committee. So we're going to go through both of these. If you click on legislator, you'll see that first off it says here you can look at any and all bills of the 2018 general legislative session. If you wanted to go search on any past bills, you can certainly do that, but that won't be part of any current bill tracking service because uh, those sessions have already ended. So keep it 2018, then you would go into Senator or Representative, just click and select your Senator, so, uh, or whoever you're, you're trying to follow. Let's say I knew that Senator Anderegg was going to run a bill on concealed carry training amendments. So I'd click on Senator Anderegg, then I would come over and see, if I, if I clicked on the short title section, it actually opens up the bill and you can go in and take a look at it. Now, if there is language for the bill, the bill will appear. If there is not language for the bill, it will show uh, that it's been filed, but there is no current language for you to review. Um, if you say track, then you see this little button over here that says track, just click on that. And then you see how it's added one bill to your track file up here in the, it's the yellow tab up here in the right hand corner. You can unclick it and you'll see that it, it goes away. So if you wanted to track, you would click on that. You could then look at your tracked bills and it's going to show you my bills. It takes you back to this page, concealed carry training. Now, the good thing about this is anytime the bill status changes, you see right here status, it shows in progress. Anytime the bill status changes, you'll receive an email notifying you uh, that the bill status has changed. So if it goes through a committee and gets approval and then therefore sent out to the Senate floor, it will notify you this bill is moving through the process. Um, you can do as many bills as you like under this process, but it is important to note that the more bills you put in here, you see up at the top it says 150 bills, I would highly recommend not tracking that many bills. Because once you start getting more than about five bills that you're tracking and you have it set up so that it's going to shoot you an email for each and every one of those bills, you need to be prepared that you're going to get spammed with hundreds and hundreds of emails as all of those bills move through the process. Just a word of caution. Here, now we're going to track a bill by uh, committee. So you come down to, to this track my committee uh, by committee and you're going to come down here to say, okay, uh, what is the committee that you want to look at? So let's say we wanted to look at the Judiciary uh, Interim Committee. Uh, let's see here. Here are all the bills that have come through this committee. Blood testing amendments. Oh, here's the one. It was on divorce proceedings, Senate Bill 25. So you can go ahead and click on that. And you'll see up here on your orange button up at the top, it's been added to your bill tracking. So through this process, you can actually see all of the bills that, uh, and the status of them as you move 
as you move forward. It even gives you uh, on this one, Senate Bill 25, uh, this Senator Todd Weiler is the sponsor, Representative uh, Lowry Snow is the, is the House sponsor. It's currently on the third reading calendar and it has been circled. And that was done as of today. Uh, so anyhow, you can go through and you can take a look at, at, at any of these bills and you can go through and, and just follow them as they go through their process. Um, you can also go through and actually uh, search for a specific bill. So you can just come in and you can say, let's see, I gotta come back to here. So when you type in fireworks, it will bring you to this page. You'll notice that there are three tabs at the top, all, bills, and code. You click on the bill section, it will show you all the open bills. There are currently two, House Bill 38, Representative Jim Dunnigan, fireworks restrictions, or Senate Bill 67, Senator Todd Weiler, fireworks amendments. Now it's funny because Jim Dunnigan is also the House sponsor for Senator Weiler's bill. So you can click into these, you can say, okay, let's go to Senate Bill 67. You're gonna bring in here, this is showing you the current language of the bill. Hey, look, over here next to the bill, under bill tracking, you say track this. You go ahead and click that, it will add this to your tracking system. So if you come back over to your bills and you wanna to come to your tracking service, now you'll see that that bill as well has been added. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I would love to have your engagement. If you wanna track uh, several particular bills, uh, follow what's happening up here. It will show you kind of status by status change of what happens as the bill moves through the process. Remember that a bill has to go through everything on the House side and on the Senate side and vice versa in order for it to make it through the whole process. So um, let me know if you have any other questions. You can reach me, um, you can give me a call at 801-901-3580. You can shoot me an email at jandrig at le.utah.gov. But I'm just really looking forward to your engagement. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Thank you very much and uh, we'll see you next time.